Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to cover JSON server. It's an utility that helps us to fake or mock the REST APIs in 30 seconds and that too without writing single line of code. So let's get started. In this video, you will learn below thing. Why you need to fake REST APIs, how to install the JSON server, faking your first REST API and verify changes made by the API call. Fourth point would be more easy to understand once we are done with the point three and able to fake our first API. So let's understand why we need to fake a REST API. So these are the case use cases that we may face in our development and testing and I have bifurcated that in the group for clear understanding as you know it's very easy to understand from the slide itself that if you have dependency on a service A which is not available for development of service B but you still want to continue the development of service B in that case you can mock or fake the REST API that you will get from module A and continue with your development in prototyping phase when you don't have modules developed at all but you still want to continue with an interface you can use the fake API. This is also really helpful in case of a hackathon where we don't get enough time to build the backend. You can just fake the REST API and create the user interface and uh, people can have like a real time application without having backend uh, logic implemented. Unit testing, obviously unit testing should be independent so you don't want to rely on external services uh, for the API calls and in that case you can mock the REST APIs as well. So these are from the development perspective. Let's switch gear and focus on our testing. So suppose you have like 30 or 40 test cases. You have wrote using some API tool and for all those test cases there is a prerequisite open some particular API kind of a setup thing that you do and then you actually execute your 30 40 test cases. Right. Suppose that particular API which is your prerequisite having some issue. Obviously because your prerequisite is not up to the mark your test will fail. And in that case if you fake the REST API using tools like a JSON server you would be able to unblock yourself and execute your intended 40 test cases and get the desired behavior from the application. Right. Uh, performance testing right so in performance testing often we run into the scenarios where there are vendor specific apis where there is a rate limiting and calls are expensive you are allowed to make thousand calls in a day and not more than that but if you wanted to run the test using a 2000 user you won't be able to even run the test because within just like five ten minutes you're gonna exhaust or hot all limit that you have for that particular API. in that case also you can mock the rest api uh, so this is the use case now let's go and try to understand how can we get started with JSON server it's very easy you need a node.js uh, install on the server uh, your, on your machine and you can just go to the node.js download according to your machine and uh, its architecture you can download the binaries and get it installed I already have node installed and once you install node on your machine uh, you get you can check this node version that i have installed is 16 i guess latest is 18 yeah latest is 18.17 but i do have like an old one 16 installed on my machine and once you install the node you can check your node version as with the node you can you get a default package manager node package manager npm and the npm is 9.7.2 so this npm node package manager it's used to install the packages and JSON server is one of the packages that we're going to try out today and see to fake the REST API but there are like so many different packages out there and you can browse them on uh, NPM so let me show you suppose you, you just use the NPM uh, you can see the repository where you know there are like thousands of packages out there and uh, you can download like so many packages there so we're gonna just talk about this json server today copy this uh, if you want to install it i have already installed it but 
I am gonna install it again just to show you. Uh, I am just installing it locally, so npm i json server, and you will see that it is getting installed from the server. It should take like two to not more than 20 to 30 seconds depending upon your machine configuration and network bandwidth. So once it is installed, ideally this kind of a tool you should install in a global scape, a global scope, and to install that you pass additional parameter with hyphen g to let npm node package that is a global package and not local package currently i am in this directory uh, on my desktop uh, i am currently on a desktop i also have this uh, so let me install this package globally so we will have this package on every folder without have to worry about where it is installed so now that is installed on uh, installed this package globally let's move on to our next slide that's it's about it's about faking our first api call so how does this a json server works you know faking the rest api without writing a single line of a code very simple uh, i have created a server go to this uh, particular folder and now in this folder I'll, I'll create one file let me call it db dot json you can give any name of this file but it has to be in type of a json so let me open in vs code so so this is a blank json file that we have created and uh, let me show you you know so all these details are already presented on the github page so installing json server globally and for the sake of it let's copy all the data that has been mentioned over here mm. and okay so i copied the data now i'll just start my json server using the command that they have given on the github and that json server watch db.json you need to be in particular location of that file what i mean by the location so so currently I am on this directory uh, on a desktop and that file that I have created is in some other folder. So if I paste the command it won't work because it won't be able to file the db.json file if it is not there. If it is there then it would work. So ls is there any file I can't see. Okay there is this db.json file is available so it was working. So let me you know go to the json server folder which we have created recently and you see this db.json file that that is also present in this json server right so let's run our utility so all the utility and our json server or fake api is up and how do you able to understand this let me show you an easy way so so we have like post one and if you see our code we have like one post title json server author type code comment and profile so if i want like comment other i'll can just you know instead of post i'll just do the i'm not sure this is visible so let me zoom it So if you see in stop post uh, we have made a call to the post and there is only one data in a file that you can see in that response of this and the response of this and uh, there is this comments right so there is one comment so if i add a comment you would be able to see okay some comment id post id if you just you know Mm, create an another comment this is an array of comments so i can add the another comment so let me add, add as an id to post id it's a comment on the same post some comment added some some comment added on post one again and if i save this and now if i run this you will see there is two data here so this is the this is the second JSON that we are able to fake it out. So if you just see the raw data here in your browser, you would be able to see that this is the data that getting updated, right? And 
if you just add if you you know want to do that with one more time you can just add right let's go and third some comment added on a some third comment let's say third comment and now that i am saving this every time i update this json and okay i need this is not on valid because i need to add an array and now this is valid json and earlier it wasn't working but now as you can see the id third third comment added on the post again what if i just wanted to get a third comment and that's it so this will also give an idea about an you know the specification of a race that every entity is a uniquely identifiable using some id so so that's how the race to work right so if you want to make a call and add an id you should be able to do that right so so if you see that everything every call that we have made if there was an error you could see there was an error you get this console log that can help you and uh, obviously we have added like three routes there post comments and profile in our json post comments and profile and that is why those routes were available if you want to add like some more data to suppose you want to add a post you can do that as well right so let me go to the post so if you go to the posts there would be like only one post is there if you try to get the one post with id you will be able to get it but if you try second post you will get like uh, uh you will get an you don't get any response and if you see that you get like a 404 in the console right so it is not there so let's try to add a second post to the post page and how we can do that uh we can use any rest tool let me try it out with an uh, let me try it out with firefox itself i like firefox so it should work mm, okay so i made a network call and as part of that network call i got a response uh, let me get a draw response okay and obviously if you want to add a data on a server generally we use a post so and the call that we have made is a get call so let me try and oh is there an option open editing this i think there was but i am not sure so request Mm -hmm. i can't see it now anyway let me open something else quickly hop scotch okay okay i am using an uh, api tool hop scotch which is very similar to what we have uh, postmore or insomnia and here i'll be using this body that we got like earlier body body then application json and this is the body that we want obviously let let's call the title as a second post i hope this is visible now second post author testing and tooling okay uh, so uh, we we need to specify the url as you can let's go to, so we are adding a post so url would be this and we are posting it let's see whether it works or not Okay, I guess we are getting some response for O four posts. So let me try posts. Okay, you can see that two zero one. We got a status as a two zero one created and ID second post testing and tooling. I if you recall, I mentioned in my uh, like first test itself that. uh we would verify the changes made by the api call so we added a new call we added new data and we wanted to verify and we added using this hopscotch tool you can use postmore or insomnia and now 
this db dot json if you see that here you can see that this second post already got automatically added right and if you want to add a third post and right now this db dot json have only two entries in a post right so let me go and add one more entry i need to give a unique uh, id obviously so let me this is a response body so mm, let me give some size so i can So, third post and let me send it and if I go to this you will see that particular JSON DB JSON file is getting updated and it's like this JSON server utility it keeps tap on this DB dot JSON file and if we make a request uh, by whatever data is there in that file it serves the data from that particular DB dot JSON file right so if we go it here again and now we got an error earlier with the post 2 but now we try to get a post 2 we get a post 2 we don't get an error similarly if you want post 3 you will get a post 3 so basically this db.json acts as a database for us and we can define the different kind of a schema that we are interested in and we can mimic or fake the api and as you can see that there is a single line of code that i have to write i just need to know what kind of a JSON schema that I need and that that's it right so so the command is like very simple I'll show you again you just after installing the package you have to create a db.json file with whatever schema that you desire and you have to add watch as a parameter so that JSON server use this as a database for your schemas and paths and routes and that's it so that's it for today. Uh, we will be using this utility in next JMeter tutorial. Yeah. Thank you.